social care workers of today catering in a crisis that's existed for decades. And as another winter wears on, staff here are feeling the pressure. The NHS cannot operate or survive if social care is run to the ground. We have the hospital ringing us all the time looking for beds and spaces and there's, there's not the funding for the, the staff don't get paid enough. Mm. Now the country's most senior church leaders weighing in, with a new report calling for meaningful change and tax rises to fund a universal social care system. As you actually write in the report, for 25 years politicians have not grasped the nettle. We even had a Prime Minister in Boris Johnson, he announced plans for tax rises. Were you dismayed when that came to nothing? Certainly it's disappointing, um, though one has to recognise that politicians have enormously difficult questions of priority. But this is one of the most fundamental questions affecting our country, morally and ethically, but also because it has ramifications and effects all over the country. An acceptance that taxpayers across the country will need to dig deep when it comes to funding. It is going to have to come from taxation, which means from all of us. There is going to have to be responsibility for individuals. It's no use saying we can do it on the cheap, because we can't. Archbishop, what would you say to people that might say to you, this isn't your job, this is a political leadership issue? not a religious leadership issue. I would say caring for people is very much my job. It's very much the, the role of the church. But a big group in society not feeling cared for after the Church of England refused to marry same-sex couples with only voluntary blessings allowed. This an uneasy tension for the Archbishop. If you were not the first among equals, would you personally bless same-sex marriages? I support the use of these resources. So I, uh, it's they, they bless the people in same-sex So is it marriages. hard for you not to be able to do what you personally would like to do then? No, I accept that it's part of my role. It's just the way it is. But you accept that there's a conflict there that's uncomfortable? Yeah, it's not comfortable, but, you know, the church is deeply divided over this issue. Deep political divisions too over how to solve an NHS crisis made worse by a social care system struggling to survive. Beth Rigby, Sky News.